praise him. We're ready to bless him. We're ready to honor him. Hallelujah. 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 Father, let your kingdom, let's declare his kingdom first. Lord, we declare the glorious majesty of your kingdom be established in this place, in this city, in this nation, around the world. Lord, let your kingdom be upon us. Let your kingdom rule in our mind, body, soul, and spirit. Let your kingdom take over our lives. Let your kingdom take over our bodies. Let your kingdom take over our spirit. Rule in us, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, our will, but your will be done. Come on, come on, loose everything. Not my will. I submit my will to your will, Lord Jesus. I submit my will. I submit. That's it. Move around. Pray. I submit my will to your will. I submit my power to your power. I submit my crown to your crown. We cast down our crowns and we lay it at your feet. We cast down our titles. We lay it at your feet. We lay it at the feet of Jesus, the Lord, the mighty one, the glorious one, the king of kings, Lord of Lord, the ancient of days, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Come on, prophesy and worship him, the Lord of glory, the Lord of strength, the Lord of might, the Lord of power. He was and is and is to come. Oh, now and forever. Hallelujah. The Adonai, the Elohim, the El Shaddai, the Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Shah Jehovah, ah, the covenant keeping God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord God of Israel, the Lord that does not sleep nor slumber, the Lord that watches over Israel. He watches over you and I. Hallelujah. The maker of the heaven and earth. The earth is his footstool. Hallelujah. The earth is his footstool. Hallelujah. He rules with power. He rules with authority. His throne is forever. His throne is an everlasting throne. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Hallelujah. There is no end to his rule. He is mighty. The mighty God in battle. The God of might. The God of strength. The God of power. Hallelujah. The maker and creator of everything. Seen and unseen. Hallelujah. The maker of man. Hallelujah. The God of Abraham. The God. Hallelujah. Of Noah. The one that calmed the sea. The one that parts. Hallelujah. The red sea for Israel. You are the fire. Hallelujah. By night. And the pillar of cloud by day. You are the covenant keeping God of Israel. You are the God of the feast. You are the God of the law. Hallelujah. You are the Lord of the Gentiles. Holy is the Lord. Hallelujah. A bomb and kill it. Hallelujah. The great shepherd. David said, the great shepherd. Hallelujah. David said, you are the waters. Oh, Lord. As the day of Panther for the waters. Oh, my soul longing after you. You are. Hallelujah. The bright and morning star. You are he that is from everlasting. You are he that was and is and is to come. Both now the everlasting God. Not to you be all power, glory, and praise. Hallelujah. You the one that rules with a righteous scepter. You rule in equity and fairness. You are the Lord that rules. Hallelujah. The nation with a rod of iron. And you shall reign forever. There is no end to your reign. Generation after generation. Praise your name. I will praise the Lord. In the land of the living, I will bless the Lord. I will enter into your gates with thanksgiving. Come on, praise him. I will enter your courts with praise. Oh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye not that he is Lord. He is God. Hallelujah. All by yourself. Oh, sing unto the 
Lord for his mercy enduring forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy truthfulness to all generation. Hallelujah. Oh heavens, all the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O oh Lord. Thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints. Oh Lord God of hosts, you are the Lord of the hosts of heaven. You are the Lord of the host. Thou hast a mighty arm, a mighty strong arm, a mighty outstretched arm. Strong is thy hand and high is thy right hand. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O oh Lord, in thy light. For the Lord is our defense. And the Holy One of Israel is our King. Hallelujah. Oh my God, O oh Lord God of my salvation. I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. It find that air unto me. Oh Lord, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery upon the heart with a solemn sound for thou Lord has made me glad through thy works I will triumph in the works of thy hands O Lord how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep hallelujah hallelujah the Lord reigneth he is clothed with majesty the Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he had girded himself, the world also is established, that it cannot be moved, thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting, the floods have lifted up, oh Lord, the floods, come on prophesying him, have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their waves, the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. O oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belong, O oh God, to whom vengeance belong, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph, how long shall they utterly speak hard things, and the workers of iniquity boast themselves, they break in pieces thy people, and afflict thy heritage. Hallelujah. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. You gotta hear this. Psalm 94. Yet they say the Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Oh God, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chasten, O Lord, and teachest him. Hallelujah. Out of his law. Hallelujah. Bless his name. The Lord takes vengeance on the wicked. Hallelujah. He's angry with the wicked every day. Hallelujah. For the Lord will not cast off his people. Neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto the righteous. Hallelujah. And all the upright in heart shall follow it. Oh my God. When I said my foot slipping, thy mercy O Lord held me up in the multitude of my thoughts within me. Thy comfort, they comfort the light my soul. But the Lord is my defense, say defense. And my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. I know we prophesy to the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't need a song, but you get the Psalms and begin to pray to Him. Open your mouth and prophesy to Him. But I want to help somebody who say, you know, such a send back to the sender. Psalm 94 said, but the Lord is my
my defense. Uh -huh. And my God is the rock of my salvation. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. Send it after them. You send it after them. Return mail. So hallelujah. hallelujah. They send the mail. They gotta go back. They send the curses. They gotta go back. Yes. They send the witchcraft. They gotta go back. Yes. We didn't originate it at me. Yes. They send it up, and the Lord said, Ah, you didn't hear David. How long will you remain silent, O oh Lord, while the yes. wicked folks are talking about what they're doing? And the Lord said, Don't worry. Hallelujah. David ended it by saying, God, you are my defense, and you will bring upon them their own iniquity, yes. and you shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. You don't have to send it back to the sender. He will send it himself. He will send it. Sing unto the Lord a new psalm, Psalm 96. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. Say all people. That's what we're supposed to do. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be fed above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Our God, he made the heavens. Before him, that's kingdom stuff there. Let's see no dead God. What do you want? Honor and majesty. Come on. And before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, all ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. But how can I give a big God glory and strength when you worship him? Amen, honey? Yes. Amen, mother? Yes. Hallelujah. He's already exalted. But when you exalt him, he's glorified in you. He's glorified in your words. He's given strength and power. You know, you know, you know, when you worship him, you give him power to move in your life. That's what I mean. When you and I worship him and praise him, you give him authority to gain strength to fight your enemies. Not that he has lots of strength, but when you worship him, you give him the reign in your life to do what he needs to do. Are you ready? Give unto the Lord glory to a this day. Bring an offering and come into his courts. No, send it to the guy on the radio. No, send it to the guy who has the ministry on the radio. Send all no, it says Sam said, uh, uh, give unto the Lord glory due to his name. How do you do that? By bringing an offering and coming into his courts. Yes, yes. No, stay home because ain't no pastor money now. No, stay home because all these pastors want money. No, no, no. No, send your money so you can put an ad on the radio so his program can continue to go on. No, I ain't been to no church in 10 years, so you all do the same thing and go to hell with me. See, that's why you gotta read this word. Amen? Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah. Too much people say. David said, Give unto the Lord glory and do unto his name. Bring an offering. He knows something is offering. He knows something is tithes. He knows something is offering. Give it to the poor. Don't even say give it to the poor. Bring it into the what? Cause of the Lord. It's not by the radio station. That's the call of the Lord to drop it off. It's not sending your package to him wherever he is or she is. That's the new thing now. It's not by sending it online to someone in some country you don't even know they walk in with God. Don't give all your money away now. Read the Bible. Hear yeah, what the Bible said. Hear what the Lord wants and be blessed. Amen. Amen. Shall I send my money to Prophet so and so in, in South Africa? Yeah, you don't even know what they say. Most of them don't be saved. Most of them don't be saved. They come on this social media and they become all kinds of things. I found their sweetheart right next to them with the camera turned on. Give unto the Lord the glory to unto his name. Bring a happy David said it. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fail before him 
preach and rap is peaceful and worship. Because they know in the traditional way, three songs, one Bible scripture, one prayer, one introduction, then the guest speaker, and then the benediction. Amen? Look at someone say, we're prophetic. We're prophetic. The Holy Ghost will come in and change stuff up. Let's see what we need to do to get our miracle. Amen? Amen. He knows what's on the, the devil is planning that we need to crush today. Amen? He knows how we need to worship him today for a miracle this week like we've never seen before. Amen? Amen. Every day is a new day in the presence of the Lord. Read it. Say unto the heathen that the Lord what? Reign it. The world also shall be established and that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the what? Earth. Say earth. earth. This kingdom stuff, man. Oh God, don't judge people. He shall judge the world with righteousness. And the people with truth. The Lord reigneth. What do reign mean? The Lord's kingdom is established. Say it. The Lord. The Lord. Your kingdom. Your kingdom is established. In all the earth. And all in heaven. That's what David was saying. You gotta know the code now. Instead of saying kingdom, kingdom. He said the Lord reigned. His kingdom reign, amen. And that's what he wants, mother. You know what I'm saying, church? He wants to reign. He wants to rule. He wants to take control of stuff. He wants to submit everything to him and let him take take control. Amen. The Lord reign. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the house be glad. A fire going before him and burn up his enemies round about. His lightning enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his what? Righteousness. And all the people see his glory. Confounded to be all they that serve graven image. That boast themselves of idols. Worship him all ye gods. I had heard I was glad. And the daughters of Judas rejoiced because of thy righteousness. O Lord, for thou, Lord, art high above the earth. I love that. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Say above all gods. He that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the what? Man, don't worry about old man witchcraft. The Lord will always deliver. Look at him and say he can deliver. He's a deliverer. He didn't say he might deliver you. He didn't say he may deliver you. The Bible says he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in God. Rejoice in the Lord, be righteous. And give thanks on the remembrance of his holiness. Why? When you think about how he delivered, now that he's delivering, and in the future he can deliver you, David said, rejoice, righteous people. Rejoice! The victory is ours. The victory is ours. Y'all want to praise for five more minutes? Yeah. Come on, let's praise him. Come on. Come on now, let's prophesy to him. Hallelujah. When I started off, I started worshiping the God of the Old Testament. How are we going to worship Jesus? We're going to worship the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So let's worship Jesus. Everything you know about him, call him. Father, we come on, let's worship. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Come on, come on. We worship you, Jesus. Who is Jesus? You are Hallelujah, Mary's baby, born of a virgin. Hallelujah, conceived of the Holy Spirit, announced by the angels, received by the host of heaven, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace. Hallelujah. Goodwill to all men. For unto this day is born a Savior. Jesus Christ. The Son of David. The Son of David. The descendant of David. The Lion of Judah. Hallelujah. And unto him shall be a Hallelujah, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Hallelujah, 
He shall come to bring peace. He shall come to bring a sword to the earth. Hallelujah, Jesus. The victorious one. The promised one. The promised Messiah. Born in Bethlehem. Born in a stable. And the angels sang. Holy, holy, holy. Yes, the Lord. Emmanuel. The Lord came down in the flesh. And fell among men. And we behold his glory. The glory of the only become the Son of God. Hallelujah. And kings came before him. And they bowed down. And the wise man spoke and came before this king. Saying, we have seen the sun in the east. That declares the king is born. Hallelujah. Unto this day, a son, a child is born. Unto this day, a son is given. Hallelujah. And he shall be called the king of the Jews. The king of the Jews. The king of the Jews. Hallelujah. A Messiah. Hallelujah. The anointed king. The anointed one of Israel. Hallelujah. The promised one. The one who was promised to sit upon the throne of David. The descendant of David. Hallelujah. The seed of David. I like that. The promised seed of Eve. Who was promised to come and crush the head of the serpent. Hallelujah. Behold the Son of God. John called him. Hallelujah. Who shoot latches. He was not worthy to unloose. Hallelujah. Spirit of the Lord descended upon him like a dove, and a voice from heaven cried out and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And straightway, when he got under water, he was filled with the Spirit, and he ran into the wilderness in the Spirit, and the power of the Spirit, and the Spirit of God, and in the wilderness he was tempted. For Lucifer, who promised him to jump down and worship him, he said, Get thee behind me, Satan. It is written, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and him only shall I serve. It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Get thee behind me, Satan. Angels came and ministered to him, and he came out in the spirit of God, in the spirit of power, and he announced, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the kingdom of God has come. Hallelujah, he declared, Seek thee first, my kingdom and my righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto thee. Hallelujah, he said, I am that I am. Before Abraham was, I am. Before Moses was, I am. I have the bread that came down from heaven. I have the door. I have the way. I have the I'm the light. He that believeth in me shall have everlasting life. He that believeth in me, hallelujah, though he lived, hallelujah, he will never die. He shall have eternal life. He said, I am the water woman. If you knew who it was, you are speaking to and who it is that you're talking with. You would ask a big give unto me, the water, sir, and I will give you the water of living waters out of your spiritual flow. I am king, and for this reason I came to testify of the truth. You are the king of the Jews. I said, I am the king of the Jews. Did you say that or others said it to you? You said I am king, and for this is true. My kingdom is not of this world. If it was of this world, I would have called for, hallelujah, 10,000 legions of angels, and they would come and destroy you and destroy everything and rescue me. But yet, my kingdom is not of this world. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Take hey, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. This is my blood of the New Testament. Hallelujah. Which is shed for the remission of sins. Hallelujah. I am Lord of the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I am Lord. Besides me, there is none other. I am the resurrection.
resurrected one and the holy one and the one that was there but now lives and the first begotten of the dead hallelujah and his hair was like wool and his eyes were like a flame of fire and his feet were like brazing brass burning hallelujah and out of his mouth hallelujah came like a fire and out of his mouth came a sword and he came on a great white horse hallelujah and on his vesture it says king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah and it was a sword that came out of his mouth and destroyed the nations hallelujah and he had on his head a crown hallelujah hallelujah we crown the king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah the alpha and omega i am the lord of the church hallelujah the first begotten the king of kings the lord of lords our high priest our good shepherd come on prophesy to him hallelujah hallelujah he said i'm a good shepherd hallelujah Hallelujah. My sheep know my voice and they answer not another. Come, follow me. Come unto me, all ye that are laden and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. And I in you, and you in the Father. We shall be one. Hallelujah. It's expedient that I go, but if I do not go, then I cannot send you the Holy Spirit. But when I go, the Holy Spirit, He will come, and He will be in you, and He will lead you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth, and He will judge you in, uh, in things of truth, and He will reveal the things of the world. Hallelujah. And He will lead you to righteousness. And He will not speak on His own, and He will only speak that which the Father has told Him. Who are you? Yeah. Some say you are Elijah. Some say you are the prophets. But who do I say? You say I am Peter. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter, I say, verily, verily, I say unto you, that flesh and blood is not revealed to you, but my Father, which is heaven, has revealed this to you. And I say unto you today, Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against me. Man, I said to you, this day you shall be with me. Every touch me not, for I have not ascended unto my father and your father. But I must go first and show myself and make a sacrifice before the Father, and then I will come back many days after. It's a new Lord, it is I. Hallelujah. Put your hands in my hand, put your hands in my side, and look at the piercing in my body. O oh, ye of little faith. I promise you I will come again. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Baptizing everyone in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching all nations, baptizing them. And lo, I will with you, even unto the ends of the earth. Lo, go, for I am with you always, always even unto the end of the earth. Come on, worship Jesus. Jesus, the Lord, come on. Come on, sometimes we got to know these scriptures. Eh? The devil is coming, he don't want you to know who Jesus is. The new talk style is saying uh, Jesus never declared that he was God. Hallelujah. We just showed you that. Hallelujah. Come on, let us worship the Holy Spirit and we've done with our worship of the body. Holy Spirit. Who is he? Come on, get it. I'll get the vocabulary of your spirit. If you don't know it, get it out of your Bible. Hallelujah. You're the paracletos. You're the comforter. You're the helper. You're the guide. You're the Roho Kadosh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of righteousness, the Spirit of holiness. Come on, open your mouth, prophesy to The Spirit sent forth from Jesus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The one, the one that laid out his life. I laid out my life. Hallelujah. No man take it from me. I lay it down and I raise it back up. Hallelujah. I raise up on the third day. Hallelujah. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you and I. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth, he lives in us. Oh, the world cannot receive because they see him not and know him not. But he lives in you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. The Spirit that baptized the believer. The Spirit. Jesus said, I, hallelujah. And John said about Jesus, I indeed baptized with water, but the one who's coming after me, whose shoe loose are not worthy to loose, he shall come and he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Hallelujah. There are three baptisms. The water, the Spirit, and with fire. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is the one that baptizes with fire. The one that sat upon the New Testament church in the upper room and filled them all. Hallelujah. With cloven tongues and with tongues of fire. And they spelt with a new tongue. And word broke out and it spread in the city and 3,000 and they were saved. The Holy Spirit. That came upon Peter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The rose of the cripple. The same Holy Spirit that rested upon Paul. Not even his shadow and his handkerchief healed the, the sick and, 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 and sh uh, shook demons out of bodies. The same Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we worship you. Come on, worship you. We acknowledge you as the head of the church. Jesus, the head of the church. Jesus, the Lord of the church. Jesus, you said, I will build my church. We are your church. We are your body. And your Holy Spirit administrates in the church. Administrates in the believer. Rule in us, Holy Spirit. Reign in us, Holy Spirit. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Lead us by your righteousness. Lead us as we worship you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah, Trinity is not in the Bible. That's true, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. But God has manifested himself as Father. With Jesus on the earth as the Son. And the dove descending on him like the Holy Ghost. Same thing on the cross. The Father, Jesus on the cross with the Son. And Jesus giving up the Holy Spirit to die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Mount of Olives. Hallelujah. With the disciples. Mount Transfigur we call it Transfiguration. The Father. Hallelujah. The prophets. Jesus. In the spirit realm. He was manifested in glory. In spiritual nature. Amen. When he's coming back. Jesus ruling. Reigning. Hallelujah. So the word Trinity is not there. But the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I got to go so the Holy Spirit to come. Amen. But that's, a, that's a person of his own personality. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 17 of John. Let's read our scripture. And then we're going to call this the Lord of God. When the Lord Jesus is exalted, you know, no flesh can stand in his place. John 17, Pastor, just turn it down quickly. Clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord one more time. I know everyone has this song. I thank God for the songwriters in the body of Christ, but every now and again, you got to get your Bible. David wrote almost 140 songs, amen? That he had recorded more, but he, but new sounds, grab them and worship with them, amen? amen? Just give him back his word, yes. and you'll feel the atmosphere shift, amen? Oh, I feel the atmosphere shift. As the Bible said, the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. When we begin to praise him, he shifts, he comes on in, and he comes down. Why? Because what's happening in heaven, we bring to the earth. What's happening in heaven right now? The elders of the angels are bowing down before him, crying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come, both now and forever, unto him that sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Be all glory, honor, majesty, dominion, power, and praise. So when you begin to worship, when you begin to praise, you stop heaven. He has to stop the angels. And uh, he don't stop them physically, but he just comes down and receives 
the worship of the redeemed. Amen. 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 Say, I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Hallelujah. They didn't have this liberty that we have. We are the redeemed. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when he hears his worship, he inhabits and dwells in the praises of his people. Amen? Amen. Grab those songs and hymns and pray. But John chapter 17 verse 1. Read. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Stop right there. Father. Say, Father. Father. That's why he's mysterious. Amen? Anyone who tried to figure the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, be human, man. We can't understand how, how he can be Father, he can be the Son, and he can be the Holy Spirit all in one. Manifest at different times, but still one and one accord, one vision, one purpose, one nature, one character. That's why he's God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you only see Trinity in here, you see? Don't mind the world now. See, the world is trying to knock stuff out. And big arguments. The church splits over the same passage. Why? People don't want to read this. But Jesus is the Father. He said, Father! And even though he said, Father, he had one accord with him. Because it would be utter blasphemy for Jesus to walk in the earth and to be called King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Savior of the world, and he had people bow down and worship him, it will be blasphemy if he's not God in the flesh. Glorify what? Thy son, that thy son also may be glorified, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Who gives eternal life? Jesus Christ, man. You know what the Muslims are saying? Jesus was just a good man. You know, right now there's a guy they call him Yodok. Yodok. You've seen this now? Happening right now in Israel, there's a young man who the Jews are exalting as their Messiah. Do you know that happening right now? Google it. Before you leave here, Google it. It's a young rabbi. He is different. Now the world is just watching to see if the guy is gifted. He knows the Torah. He knows the Pentateuch. He, he knows all of the Kabbalah. He knows all of the ancient oral traditions of Israel. How do you see what's that? And, 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 and he's teaching them and all the top rabbis are bowing to this young man. And in some parts of the world, they're putting up flyers around the world. Jewish, young Jewish guys and rabbis are saying, the Messiah is coming. This is happening right now in the world today. Bible believers are scrambling right now like never before because they're trying to figure out now, is this the Messiah the Jews will appoint and anoint? And he's a young guy in his 30s, but he's gifted and even with music. And they're flocking him. And he's allegedly doing miracles. Is this the false prophet? Is this the beast? Is this the Messiah that Israel is waiting for? Will he unite all of Israel around the world? Will he also unite the Muslims? Like the Pope has done already in this conference this year where he gathered with the top religious leaders and they have made a pact to have one world religion. That has happened this year. Google it. I think while we were busy with COVID, he slipped all these things in. And now the Pope is trying to unify Islam and Chrislam, creating a one world religion. Do you know this? Uh, this is being flipped right now. Now, this Jewish guy just arose out of nowhere. Why am I saying this? Because it's going to become very clear in these days. We got to know who Jesus is. Because they are slipping in things in the church now to say, Jesus didn't say, he didn't call himself Messiah. They're saying things like, show me, I had a guy on the radio on my wife heard someone saying, show us in the scripture where it's even for people who don't read the Bible. Show us where Jesus said he's Lord and God. You heard that, right? 
That's to be talked now. For people to, to, you know, sway people out of Christ. But Jesus said it right here. As thou hast given him power, who said me, over all flesh. Who has power over all flesh? Jesus is saying himself. A well-known pastor even said, oh, Jesus never went about talking about himself. He talked about the kingdom. No, no, no. It's no kingdom without Jesus. Forget kingdom. Who is kingdom? There's no Jesus and the kingdom. You got it. That one revelation makes a difference because there are many believers in this country and around the world who've got an erroneous teaching of kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. And they start to put Jesus in. Oh, don't take Jesus in the boardroom. Don't talk about no blood. Don't talk about no cross. Don't talk about no, the, the, the preaching of the gospel is the power of God and the salvation. The preaching of the blood is the power of God and the salvation. The preaching of the cross is the power that will change. I don't care if you're a surgeon, I don't care if you're an attorney, I don't care if you're an accountant, I don't care if you're the governor general, I don't care if you're the prime minister or president of a nation. The preaching of the cross will always be the power of God that he used to bring salvation to the whole world. Come on, say amen. amen. It's the blood that still has power to save and change. Amen. No matter how modern this world gets, make sure you stick with the foundation of the church. The blood, the cross, the death, burial, resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And remember to keep him as Lord. Because in 2023, the Lord is already beginning to show me what's going to happen. There's going to be a settling. Those who are with Christ and Zill will be settled. Those who are not will be shaken with every wind of doctrine. Every, and then he to come, the devil is smiling, he ain't coming in your face. You see, he, he comes up with something. Ain't no such thing as fed back to the center. Ain't, ain't, ain't no such thing as going to the church. Man, 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 man. Ain't no such thing as, you know, you need no pastor. Ain't no such thing as fellowshipping with a believer, man. You could pray at home. Ain't no such thing as, you know, loving your, 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 your brethren and uh, there's no such thing as giving time and offering money. That's an old testament thing. But Jesus can wait till the end of the ages just to tell us that. When we need it more than ever before. There ain't, ain't, no, ain't no such thing as country. Ain't no thing as spiritual father. The Bible calls it Timothy, my son in the gospel, who I need God in the ministry. Oh, and it's so many, but as I'm saying this. As thou hast given him power over what? All flesh. That he should give eternal life to as many as you as thou hast given him. Who gives eternal life? Jesus Christ. And this is the eternal, the life eternal. That they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. That's eternal life. When you believe that, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. I know this sounds like primary school, but this is going to be important in 2023. Because you talk to young folk or people out in the world today, that, that, that ain't clicking. See why? All of you and I have to protect the gospel. Say amen. That's what apostolic means. Don't mind folk using the titles. I see them all the time using these titles and showing off. It ain't all that. An apostle is one who said, defender of the faith. Apologetic. Huh? Defending the faith. And, and defending. You all are going to have to defend the faith. You're all apostolic. Amen? Say, I'm apostolic. I'm apostolic. Say, I'm apostolic. I'm apostolic. I'm apostolic. Jesus left an apostolic church. We read it last week. He didn't leave no dead church. He left a structured place. He left an apostolic church to what? Defend this type of thing. To defend him. To defend the truth of the gospel. Read verse 4. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. Say, finish the work. Finish the work. Tell him, finish the work. Oh, I want you to say that to the devil here. I know you will. Say, I'm going to finish the work. Word. The Lord Jesus gave me to do. Lord Jesus gave me to do. So death go to hell right now. So death go to hell right now. 
Yourself. Amen? Amen. And remind you, so no, no, no. Jesus was with here. And verse 6 I have manifested thy name unto the man which thou givest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou givest them me. And they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of you. For I have given unto them the words which you have given me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou sent me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, Uh but for them which thou hast given me, for they are your own. Uh Uh-oh. I want you to get that now. 2023. I'm just giving you some nuggets. Jesus said, I don't pray for the world. He died for the world. He don't pray for the world. You the difference. I had to share with my wife this week as we were praying and talking. I said, No, and I didn't even realize this was again this morning. Be careful in 23. Who are you praying for? But some of these people in the world, they ain't changing. They don't want to change. They made it their mind. They want to live for the enemy. The only thing you pray for the world is pray they come to the same God. You share the gospel with the world. Give them the opportunity to come to Jesus. If you see some of these drug dealers, they push the drug on and they come. You pray and pray and pray and pray. What are we going to pray for? God's kingdom to come. That's what Jesus prayed for. Pray for the saints. Pray for the church. Pray for the body of Christ to expand. Pray for the body of Christ to be protected and encouraged. That's what Jesus prayed for. I know that sounds like a good teaching, right? But Jesus said, I pray for the world. Amen? I have died for the world. He came to the world and they received him not, but to them that received him, that he gave power to become the sons of God. What is he saying? This year, don't be discouraged those who hear you. Share the gospel. They don't want to hear him, that's why I keep moving. Amen? Amen? Share with your family. If they don't hear you, sorry. If they do praise God, bring them in the kingdom and disciple them in the things of God. 
And all mine are yours, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. John 17, 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Circle on your Bible. Now, let me folk the dissect this. There's some religion. They, they, they can't get that. They just no, well, God is the Father. Jesus is the Son. Just like how I'm a Father and you're a Son. And then in you. No, no, no. Not even see. He said, We are one. I am in the Father. The Father and I are one. One mean one. That as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Thou. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost for the one, the son of perdition. You know who that is? Judas. That the scripture might be filled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilling themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hated them. You see that? Circle in your Bible. You can be hated in 2023. I mean, the, the world is hating the church like never before. I mean, there's a despise and a disgust for the true people of God. Amen? You try to live for God, they can call you everything in the book, man. You think you're into things, they can make up some words in 2023. Amen? Huh? Yes. Yes, well, the Hindus don't like Christians. They hate him, Christian. Don't mind anyone who's a Hindu. Don't mind them laughing up in your face. Hindus do not like Jesus at all, at all, at all, at all. Even at the point now when I deal with any transactions, I don't like dealing with Hindus. Because people hate you. They hate and Muslims. Don't mind Muslims. They don't like Jesus. They don't like Christians. No matter how they put it. So when the Pope and all these people, churches, you get to faith, they, they'll never change. How many of them you see converted? No. Okay? They are fixed. They hate the church. They hate Jesus. They hate Israel. And any chance they get to kill and destroy and wipe out the church in Israel, they'll do it. Don't play with these people. They're not what they play it with. How do you deal with them then, man of God? In 2023, pray that Jesus came and rule in the earth. That's it. They will come to the kingdom of God. You preach the cross of Jesus Christ. You pray they hear it and be transformed. Many Muslims are coming to Jesus Christ, but those hardcore places don't trust them. They don't trust. They don't. They don't want nothing to do with Jesus. They hate Jesus with a passion. And if you look at most Muslims, you see their face. They're angry. That's an angry spirit. They're hateful. Hindus will pretend to love. You see when I work around Hindus at work, I don't trust Hindus. I want to record it. I don't trust them. Hey, colleagues, so what? They, they don't like Jesus Christ. Don't mind that they mock Jesus. They might tolerate you for money and just to be in the workplace. But they love their gods. They, they, and my wife was saying in Texas this week they were raising money. We go to India and Nepal and Bhutan and stuff like that. They pay money to kill Christians. You gotta go in their places very carefully. See how we come and open our hands. Muslim doctors, nurses, teachers, come. You go there, you can't go there as a Christian. They'll kill you. Or they deny your visa. You can't come in if they know you're a Christian. Yes. They have a hate. Muslim nations, they have a hate. Only Dubai now open up this is a tourist thing for money. They don't mind you coming. If you talk about Jesus, they'll throw you in jail for life. They wouldn't find you no more. You are not Muslim law. And their law don't have no law. They'll throw you in jail. That's what they say. Amen? They hate us. Say they hate us. I'm preparing you now. I have given thee them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world. Not only Muslim, Hindus, and Satanists, but you can find people who are worldly now me. They can hate your God's man. Madam, 
your circle can get smaller. Your friends can get smaller. Your family, when you fall in love, you can get smaller. When you pursue God, when you dig on this holiday, when you're drinking your eggnog with gin in it, when you're drinking your gully wash, when you're winding up on loose like a goose this holiday, mm-hmm. ain't nothing me loose. I won't be loose. Because the last time it was looser than Lucy, now this will come up with loose like a goose. It's the same spirit. Loose. When you're a Christian, you're only supposed to be loose. Amen? Yeah. Jesus said, be thou made what? Whole. If you ain't whole, you're loose. Amen? Amen. Amen. Remember that name? Yeah. And that's what they want you to do. Loose like a goose. What are you saying? Let go do whatever. Let slack. You know what loose means. Girl, yeah, she living loose. The bishop would say he loose. Huh? That's what the sober song said. I loose and I'm loose. That's what they said. <laughs> now he come up with that same thing when he died. So what he said, I loose, I carry on loose. You don't got to read between the lines what these people said. They telling you. Jesus said, don't be like that. So when you ain't on the dance floor, carry on loose. When you ain't drinking that liquor, when you ain't going party in the place, when you ain't got your two, three, four woman, they gonna call you everything but a child of God. Huh? Get ready. But the Bible is just preparing herself now. Amen. I pray not that I just help her because I know she was a fight this week. So I just sat in the ground so she could have the easy time. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but thou that thou shouldest keep them from evil. They are not of the world. Say, I'm not of the world. world. Even as I am not of the world. We ain't of this world. We are not of this people. We ain't into drinking, smoking, fornicating. We ain't into adultery. We ain't into loose like a goose. We ain't into corruption. We ain't into lying. We ain't into underhandedness. We ain't into your political gimmicks. We ain't into your political sides. Again, political points don't matter. We into Christ, man. Say amen. Amen. We are, we are to do it in God's way. What is God's way? We are into the word of God. Say, I'm into the word of God. I'm word Say, I'm into God. worship. I'm into, I'm into walking with I'm God. Into walking. I'm into studying God's word. I'm into, I'm into holiness. I'm into family building. I'm into church building. I'm into nation building. That's what I'm busy with. That's what I'm busy with. I'm after my purpose in God. That time they running around trying to get political famous. Huh? Most people live that all their life. Now be up here. Hey, hey, you, you look at the radio now, you can't even see nothing. What I mean by that? They send the notice to their people, and then you see the free giveaway. So the problem. You see the 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 the. the I drive by the numbers place on a big free giveaway. That's what the world into, man. On Queen's Highway, they have one now, so now, now, this the time now. The world, huh? Free liquor, free food, free drink, free things, huh? Get away. The political party now in power, they send a notice to all them people when they look. Oh, this concert happened, this event happened. Like, where? How do you even know about these things? You don't know they send it to their people, it's their time now. It ain't everyone time, it's their time. Amen? But that's what the world is about. Amen? You in contract, they give you the contract. That's your people. They give you the job, they give you the contract, they give you the position. I saw a lady last week I ran into her. She said, I want you to do something for us. I run in this whole department now for the government. I said, How you get there? Say me and so and so, the minister close. Give up papers or shit. I said, no problem. Set it up. I said, me and my boy will come and deal with all of the hurt people. I said, don't worry about your political. I come in and minister the people. You all deal with your politics. That's what happened. So you got to be in God, man. Why? The world has its own system. They wheeling and dealing. Huh? They dealing and dealing. You get this contract. You get this position. You get this job. You get this opportunity. You get this stuff. You get that. That's how they deal. And if you're in God in 2023, you'll miss stuff. 
to say you in them circles, man. You won't pray. But when you get in them circles, there's certain things you got to do. Amen? Amen? There's certain compromise you got to make. There's certain sweetheart you got to get involved in. There's certain things you got to turn your back and your eye on and pretend it don't exist. It's the world. Say the world. The world. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. We've been sent where? Into this wicked world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they may also be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That they may be all what? That they all may be what? One. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. Circle that in your Bible. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gave me, I have given them. That they may be one even as we are one. He said it again. Now, if he was the Lord and true to the Father should have strengthened thou right there and then. I and them and thou and me. That they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast, thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold the glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world had not known you but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. And I have declared unto them your holy name, and will declare it, and that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Amen. Stand to your feet as we gather to this wonderful message this morning. This woman of God is going to put the icing on the cake. I just want to thank the Lord for you as you're listening. Jesus has said it all. Come up here, woman of God. Jesus has said it all. Clap your hands to the Lord. I want to, amen, put it right there. This woman of God has just been praying and blessing and pushing. And so today we gave enough time. The Lord shifted it and changed things, but it was the breakthrough for her. Just when you prepare for these things, it's warfare. Amen? Amen. And she said that she needed our prayer covering. So the Lord shifted it. Father, we thank you for this woman of God, even as she comes to bring forth the word. Minister to her. Yes, yes. Use her in a powerful way to bless your people and your saints today. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Lord, bless her. Lord, bless her. Say, Lord, use her. Use her, Lord. In Jesus' name. I want to welcome you to listen to this woman of God. None other than Mother Wild, who's a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a kingdom woman, I tell you. A yes. mother, a grandmother, a friend. Hallelujah. A saint of God. Yes. So many titles to so many people. But on this moment, she's going to be... The voice that God uses. Clap your hand and shout as she comes to deliver the word of God this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Not my will, your will be done by your spirit. Yes. I give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise him. As we continue in the series, A King of Love and His Loving Kingdom, subheading the word slash faith. Let us turn in our Bibles to Genesis 1. Beginning at verse 1, and it says, In the beginning, 
God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was out, was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Pay close attention to verse 3 and the first line. And God said, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. We are dealing with the word. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And I'll stop at verse 6. And again, we see the first line. And God said. And God said. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Now let us turn to John chapter 1. St. John, that is. the word and the word was with God and the word what? was God in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We read in Genesis, and in John we read in the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And if we go down to verse 14, it says, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. First, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was supposed to greet. <laughs> okay, so did you say so? The word was made flesh and dwell among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We know that the spirit of truth is the Holy Spirit. The Comforter. Yes. yes. He is the truth. Turn to Isaiah 50 and verse 4.
and it said, I'm sorry, I'm reading from Thompson Chain, that's where I've mostly been reading from. It's simpler for me. The Lord had given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning that is the one who is weary. And he wakened my ear to hear us to learn. God wakened you to hear us to learn morning by morning so you will have a word for the weary. As we see in Isaiah 50 and 4, he said, The Lord had given me the tongue of the learned. We know that those who they call learn in the Bible, they mean that they are disciples. Yes. Yeah. Master, divine, Name Yahweh. The term of to learn. So he said, He has given me. If you are ministering or saying a word to someone, and you said, He has given me. There's an expectation. They now are expecting. To hear something from you. Yes. So now the next step is you have to testify. You have to say to the person what God has given you. Learn that you should know how to speak a word and season that is today. There is an expectancy. You can testify of God's goodness. Someone might need a positive word. They might have just left them from home, their house in turmoil. They need to hear a word of comfort, a word of wisdom, or how to do, or how to solve that insolvable problem they have just left behind. And it says, When that is the case, you have to speak encouragement, hope to the hopeless. If they have just lost their job, you have to pray for them, encourage them yes. that, hey, God is still your God. Yes. And he promised you something. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. And he says he is your provider. Not that job. He said, trust in me with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. Yes. In, your, in all your ways, he wants you to acknowledge him. The word. So, we are to be able to give an encouraging word. A kind word. And to those who are discouraged, if we look at Matthew 25 and 35, Matthew 25, 35, it will now tell us. Encouraging word, Matthew 25 35. It says, For I was hungry, and he gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me.
that meat could be spiritual or physical according to the situation or the circumstances that is going on in that person's life. Drink, it could be you need to present Jesus Christ to that person because yes. he is the living water. Yes. They can be thirsty for the word of God. Yes. Not only the physical drinking water, but that spiritual water to the soul, that, that, that hunger, that thirst, that can only be quenched by the word of God. And we have to know and be able to discern and know the difference and to distinguish what drink is needed. John 4 and 7 says <coughs> Okay Let's see Jesus was on the journey. Him and then his disciples, they were going from one part of the country to another. They didn't want to take the long way around because Jesus had an appointment with a lady that day. Yes. So John and seven says there come a woman of Samaria to draw water Jesus said unto her give me to drink for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy meat then the woman said to the Sam then said the woman to the Sam woman of Samaria unto him how is it that thou being a Jew asketh me which I'm a woman of Samaria, for Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus' reply was, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is thou askest, that askest thou for a drink? Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that said unto thee, Give me to drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee the living water. Amen. The living water that shows there was a void in her life, and Jesus was there to meet that word that day. So Jesus got in the conversation with her. Mm -hmm. He said, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that said unto you, give me to drink, thou would have asked of him and he would have given you the living water, salvation. So it went on further she explaining about the religion and their re religious um, laws and rules. Jesus said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water shall give him, but the water that I shall give him shall be a well of water springing up into everlasting life. She said unto her, I'm sorry, the woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I trust not need a candida to draw. Yes. Jesus said, The door is open now, wide open for ministry. Go call thy husband and come hither. And said unto, and the woman said, I have no husband. Jesus answered her, 
Thou saidest, well, I have no husband. Thou hast had five husbands. Can you imagine? She didn't get confused at night, calling Peter, John, and John, Peter. Five husbands. That means she had a deep need, a deep vacancy there, a hunger. She had five, and none couldn't fulfill that need in her life. My Lord. Then Jesus ministered to her. Thou, sorry, the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, If thou hast well said, I have no husband, but thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast now has it, he whom thou now has is not thy husband. In that said thou truly, Wow. Five. Some of us have you could deal with one. She had five. Wow. Wow. So Jesus ministered unto her. He told her of the living water. She even went through everything about um, racial prejudice issues. Hey, I'm a Samaritan and you speak. The Jews have no dealings with the Samaritan and we only worship here at this mountain. All of that you know not what you worship ye not sorry ye worship ye know not and what ye know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth Father seeketh such to worship him God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. After all of that revelation of him sowing the word into her, her spiritual eyes were open, and she became the first missionary to her town. She ran and said, come, come, see a man who has told me everything I did. Come, come, come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? She came to the full realization, wow. Who is this prophet? Who is this man? He doesn't live in Samaria. He's a visitor. Yet he could tell me what I did or I'm doing now, my present situation. In Acts chapter 3 and 4, Peter and John, as their duty was, they went to the temple every day for prayer. And this lame man was there. And as usual, he was asking for money. And you know, some of us would say, Man, you're too lazy. Go find something to do. You always beg him. But Peter and John, they didn't do that. He said, Look on us. Look on us. Acts 3. Three and verse four. 
And Peter fastened his eyes upon him, which John said, look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. Then Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I here have, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up yes. and walk. Words, they spoke the word of life to him which brought him his physical and spiritual healing. Yes. Yes. Every day, you know, when his relative dropped him out the steps to ask for money to help support him, I know he kept saying, Lord, if I could only walk. Yeah. Lord, I want to walk. Lord, heal my legs. Lord, you promised me. I haven't seen it yet. I need my legs so I can support myself. Yes. Here comes Peter and John. When he said, give me some money. Peter said, so we don't have silver and we don't have gold. But we have something worth so much more than gold. It would be life to you. They took him by the hand. By the right hand. And lifted him up. And immediately. His feet and ankle bone received strength. Yes. Immediately. Amen. Immediately. Yes. Immediately, because of the word, when it was commanded, it was so striking. And Peter and John, the anointing was still on their faces, the glow from the um, when the Holy Spirit ascended on them yes. from the day of Pentecost, they were still true. carrying that divine anointing. That's true. So it, it, it attracted his attention. Oh. And then he, he was saying, Look on us. But he didn't know salvation would come to his house that day. He got his healing. Yeah. He got his miracle. He got his salvation. Yeah. He wanted after that to go with Peter and John as missionaries and help spread the way. That's it. Look on us. Remember, he said, He has given us the tongue of the learn. He will give us the right word to say. Oh. To him that is weary, not to give up. Continue in the good work. Jeremiah 5 and 14 says, says, wherefore thus said the Lord God of hosts, because he speak this word, behold I will make my words in thy mouth fire and this people yes. before you as wood and it shall devour them. The word will devour them. He says, the word will be as fire consume. Second, who I'm talking to, the person is now become wood, as wood. And when the fire hit the wood, 
It's gonna go consume you, and it will go down inside of you. Yes, Jesus. And will now become a witness. Yes. He said in Matthew ten and nineteen. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. Yes. We'll give you the answer. I must um, interject. I was going through a terrible time. Come on. <laughs> That's the final part of the thing. You gotta speak such as. Trying to do to me. <laughs> they kill me. Um, I cancel the word okay. Yeah. Lip, lip, lip. And from then, the you know, like you say, you know everyone else. Yeah. You pants, you walk in the pants and leave it. You so that's alright. So I was very nervous. Um Overly anxious, but I didn't last night. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that was a severe attack from the enemy to get yes. me distracted. Yes, and not have faith in His word. Yes, come on. And then the Holy Spirit ministered to me fear. I see. Yeah, the devil is a liar. Yeah. He just creep right in on me. Creep right in on the ways. Oh. And he set that spirit right up on me. Yeah. Me. Well, you could imagine what happened after that. I said, Jesus Christ in the name of you spirit of fear. Yeah. My father, it is written. Come on. He said, he has not given me the spirit of fear, yes. but of power, love, and of sound mind. Yes. And he said, whenever I open, it is written. It is written. It is written. When I open my mouth, Come he on. will speak through me. Oh. He said, this demon, cunning. This lying demon, yes. this father of lies, whose future is in the lake of fire. Come on. Who to come and attack me? Manifesting a parcel in my room and all. Yes. But when I identified yes. the ruling spirit, which was fear. Yes. And uproot it. And then that's why I had to read Genesis and John. Come on. Genesis said, and God said, and God said, and God said, and God said. And, God said. and Jesus all the door tell Satan, it is written. Yes. It is written. It is written. You have the victory. Yes. After that, you you, you got to be delivered. Yes. Come on. Do you know if I'm saying God about that? Mm. You have to get your deliverance. Yes. You must get it. Yes. We have to learn, people of God. We got to learn from how the situations that. God, how we acted in a situation, how Jesus acted. Come on. It's the same, same thing. thing. Yes. The same thing. Yes. And when that hit me, I say, you demon, you go back and say, you're a piece of hell from whence you came. Come on. Because you don't have a, have a future, but I have a hope and a future. Come on. Yes. Yes. And your master said, you're going to be strong. Hey, I'm shameful! 
you just can't say the word. You got to put it into action. Yes. You have to live it. Oh. Then Habakkuk 2 and 4, you can just, just I'm just going to run through. Behold, the soul which he had lifted up is not is not upright in him, but the just, the righteous, to live by his faith. Yes. So, if you're righteous, it's not a choice. You got to do it. If you want victory, the unjust is living by his or their faith. First John 2 and 16 says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Yes. That's all in the world. It's all in the world. Well said. But to the righteous, we have faith yes. to lay by. Yes. Amen. Hmm. The unrighteous, they have all the evil desires. They have the flesh, carnality, ambition, earthly vision. They have pride yes. that they are living by. What are you going to do about it? God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. No. His word is a and amen to him that believe. Yes. Psalms 119 and 130 says, the entrance of the words given light. It gives it understanding to the simple. God's word gives enlightenment. If you yes. don't understand it, Holy Spirit, I just read that word, but I don't understand it. Yes. You, the Spirit of Truth, Come on. you said you are going to teach me all things yes. Yes. and bring all things to my remembrance. Um, no, I, I need enlightenment. And guess what? He will bring it. Yes, he, does. he said, ask, yes. and it shall be given you. Yes. See, and he shall find. Knock, and it shall be So, it's there for us to live by Psalms 27 14 says wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart yes. wait, wait I on say it. on the Lord wait wait you are praying for change in your home Come on. just cause you don't see it immediately Derail, you drop the word of God, oh, go in unbelief, oh, Lord. you're walking in failure, and you wouldn't be victorious. Oh. He says, Wait, wait on the Lord. Why are you waiting? You can't just have anything coming out of your mouth. He said, the entrance of his word gives light. Yes. Stop speaking darkness and speak light. Light. Jesus. Light is the word of God. Jesus is the light. Yes. Come on. He's the light. Speak what Jesus said. It is written. Yes. If you don't put it in there, you're going to fall down for each time. My Lord. you got to stay focused. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Come on. You must understand it's the enemy 
trying to distract you and get you off course. Right. See, he, <laughs> he said straight is the way. Now, straight is the Narrow is the way. Narrow. Oh, go. oh God. That lead to life Narrow. and not yes, destruction. Narrow. That's right. Broadest the way. Broadest the way. Hallelujah. And go. Scott is stay on the narrow. Narrow. You can't. Because you can fall. You can't. Lean. See, there are times you gotta shut this big mouth of yours. Ah, mm. yes. Watch your mouth. You have to think of the climate of your house yes. and who and what is ruling at the time. Yes. yes. You have to. Lest you will be defeated each time. Yes. Then you get discouraged. You won't give up. Change your talk. Yes. Change what comes out the mouth. There's death and life yeah. in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. I think it's found in, in Proverbs 18, 20. Yes. Death, who could be speaking? Death mm. or life. Amen. You choose. That's it. You choose. Mm. You choose. Just this is something you have to work on, you know. Just hey, I walk in the shop, let me put down faith. Yeah. That's right. Put it on the counter, pay, pop, ain't go down. No. It's the word. Yes. The word. Yes. If you don't practice, yeah, you're not gonna be perfect each time. And then you find a mess up, you go to pencil law. I'm sorry. Yes. But you say you're going to be my strength and my weakness. Yes. No, I think I need your strength. Make me strong. Come on. Because I want to win this. Yes. Right. Me and my family is in this together. Yes. And I need the victory. I can't go to another year. No. Jesus. I've had enough. I can't do it. So now. You have to make a choice. Mark 11, 24 says, sorry, Exodus 14, 14 says, the Lord will fight for you. Come on. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. The Lord will fight for you. Oh. Hold your peace. The Lord will fight for you. Hold your peace. Hold it. He said a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Yes. Now what you gonna speak? Life or death? Come on. This tongue, use it wisely. Yes. Oh yes. Hey, glory. That's good. The tower of the just is as choice silver. Mm. Proverbs 10 and 20. Choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. Now you want to push it out. Choice silver or dumb. Which one? Now you choose what you want to come out yeah. of your mouth. Yes. The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Put a watch on my mouth. When you see, you see, you could sense and see when things could happen. Yeah, yeah. That's the time you, you, you saying your prayer quietly, you saying the word. Holy Spirit, the word say, oh, you could put a watch on my mouth. Yes. Put a watch on my mouth. Yes. Put a watch on my mouth, Lord. Lord, put a watch on my mouth. I only want three silver to come out of my mouth. Yeah. Not dumb. Choose. Yes. Choose. Choose. Then he say in Mark, Mark 11, 24. Therefore I say unto you, 
what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Yeah. I always say, if I believe what I say when I pray, I shall have what I That's say it. when I pray. If I believe what I say when I pray, I shall have what I You will have it. Have it, Jesus. God cannot lie. Mm. His word is established in the heavens. He said that heaven and earth will pass away, but not one death. His word will Come on. to the crown. We have to put it in practice. We yes. must. We must believe us. We must. Then yes. he gave me offense to deal with that. Yes. Offense. Proverbs 18 and 19 says, A brother or any relative or friend or whomever, if they are offended, is hard to be won than a strong city and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. But then his word says in Psalms 107.16 For he had broken the gates of brass and he had cut the bars of iron Sunder. Yes, he can do it. He can do it. I can do it. Come on. Then he said in Isaiah, I have 45 and 2. But, sorry, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. Mm. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. Mm. And cut and sunder the bars of iron. What are your gates of brass and your bars of iron? What is it? What is it? Identify it. Then you go and say, God, you say, you will go before me. Yeah. You will make the yes. places straight. You will break in pieces the yes, gates of yes, brass. Yes, yes. And you will cut and sunder the bars of iron. Mm. You want more than that? No. Oh, Jesus. you could say, Jesus said, it is written. It is written. Yes. See, many times, when these conflicts come up, if you would open up with Open them up. God said, or oh, it is written, yes. you quote the word of God, you go and pray, sir. Satan got to flee. Yeah, got to flee. He has to flee. Yes. But you just go and fuel up the fire. My Lord. You could. And that's how the offense will be broken. The question is asked, was anything too hard for God? Yes, for God? How much longer will you be burdened? Will, will you bear the burden of a gate of brass and bars of iron? Mm. The word of God is more powerful, sharper than any two edged sword. Mixed with faith, you are given the strategies and the armor, uh, sorry, and the ammunition to dismantle, uproot, dig up, overthrow, pluck up, kick down. Yes. And then send the blood of Jesus after it. Yes. yes. Then you see them things start on oh, manifesting in my room. Sometimes I try to suck my teeth. Then I say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now the Holy Ghost has given me the strategy. Yes. When I when I'm ready to wake up before I open my eyes, I start praising the Lord. Yes. I start praising it. 
I start praising him. I start praising him. Praise, praise. And then, when I open my eyes, I see anything, I say, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. That's it. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood. Jesus, my God. It disappears. Vanish. My Lord. So you see me here, I fight many battles. Yes. You have to have the strategy. Jesus. Because victory is yours. Yes. Now I have the victory. When you yes. think I'm up, I know exactly what to do. I don't have to stress myself out. Yes. Come on. I just do what I got to do and get down the gates of uh, 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 the enemy. And he'll get what he come for, a broken jaw, broken teeth, and everything else. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hmm. It says, would you be free from your burden of care? There's power, power in, in the, the blood. blood. There's power in the blood. <laughs> power in the blood. Power. Wonder working power. There is power. She said, have you seen? I see 12, 25. We won't be out here much long, longer than that. Good time. So we'll take a couple of minutes and just, uh, uh, I want to just recap some things. First of all, we give the Lord praise. Secondly, we thank the Lord for you, woman of God, for delivering that word. Yes. Thirdly, I know it's not easy delivering the word. Amen? Amen. Because we have an enemy that hates and we rise up in the Lord. Amen? Amen. But I'm thankful that you press through. Yes. And last week, Andy pressed through. Yes. And every week we are pressing. Amen? Amen. Amen? You don't get victory unless you press. Amen? And so you have to press. So I'm thankful. And what a sound word. I know you were 
Now I've, been, now I've been moving one direction, believing him. He said, no, son, I don't want you to have that daughter. Come over here. That's really what I want you to have. Then that's his business. Amen? Yes. He still walked by faith. Yes. What do I mean? If you were believing God for a certain thing, and he'd give you something else, you get with him. That's bonus. Oh, that is, that's bonus. That's really where he want to get you. But my friend, she walked by faith. If you don't know Jesus Christ is Lord, your family... Hey, I, you tell them get out the world. You tell them to get out the world today. Are you hearing me? Yes. Number one, speak and tell your family, get out the world. There's no safety in the world. You know, years ago, you could have been in the world and still make it. Go to the club, uh, get up, go to work, hallelujah. Uh, go to a party, and, and uh, you know, party straight through the holiday from now until the new year. You could have done that 10, 15, 20 years ago. Today, the devil are killing people all that person. One body dead. One club dead. One bad deal dead. Yeah? So you're going to speak it. Yes. So, so number one, speak the word. Yes. Over your life. Next year, this time, everything that you spoke, you should have. Amen. Amen. You need to speak the word. See? No, I know. You speak what you want. Yes. Come on, help me, somebody. Amen. That's what the church is for. Sometimes you get in here and get in your little corner and you speak to God. Because I know sometimes you can't speak to friends. They don't understand. Sometimes you can't even tell some family members what you believe in God for. Co workers, you can't speak it. You can't, and then they see you talking to the Lord, the car, they call you crazy. So come in the house of God uh, and just say, Lord, I speak it because I, I, I see myself in my home. Amen. I see a healthy yes. marriage. Yes. I see a peaceful home. I see victory in my body. I speak. Uh, I see these arms moving. I see strength. I see the faith supernatural. If you come in the house of God and open your mouth, why don't you jump on your feet and do that for the minute? Come on. Open your mouth, Lord. I declare I'm going to live. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. The devil wants you to keep your mouth shut up. But you pray to say, Lord, I'm going to live and not die. Come on. Don't be afraid to say it. The Lord is in his hand anyhow. I will live and not die. To declare works of the Lord. I'm blessed. I'm the head and not the tail. Everywhere I go, I'm blessed. Everything I do shall prosper. Everything I accomplish, put my mind to, it shall be done in Jesus' name. By His stripes I am here. I say cancer go to hell. I say diabetes go to hell. I say sickness get out of his body. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to exercise. And I'm going to crush sicknesses out of my body in 2023 in the name of Jesus. Father, if you connect to me, shout it for the devil and this for your family, even though they don't even know. Say, if you connect to the me, you will be blessed in 23. Come on, come on, shout it. Just because I'm connected to you and you're connected to me, they connected to us. Hallelujah. They're going to be blessed. Everyone that blesses us, the Lord said, I will bless them. And they that curse us, they will be cursed by the Lord. Amen. Just because you are connected to me. Amen. Amen. Just because I'm connected to you, I'm going to be blessed in 23. I'm going to speak that. What else you need to speak in this atmosphere? What else you need to speak in the house of the Lord today? He said, my house should be called a house of prayer. What else you need to declare? Those who are listening, come on, 60 more seconds, talking, talking. Lord, I'm not giving you for life. Come on. Some of you believe in God for a contract. Some of you believe in for a promotion. Some of you believe in for your own office. Some of you believe in for a new business. Some of you believe in for some changes in your house. You need that. I mean, it might be, you just need a tough change. You believe in God to change out your cabinets because they, they're termites to eat them up. That's something he wants you to have. That's something he want to bless you with. Lord, I need some new shoes because I want to serve you. I need some one or two pieces because I want to preach a gospel and I just need one or two pieces. Lord, I, I, I just need a family member saved. Lord, there's a sister I believe in you for. There's a brother I need a miracle for. There's a child I need salvation with right now. Come on, say it, say it. If you have the faith, you can say it right there. That child you want to say it, declare them saved right now. Lord, I declare that child saved right now. Call them by name right now. Call them by name. Call them. Lord, they're saved now, today. Not in 33. I'm going to be saved on the deathbed. They're not going to 
be saved. Hallelujah. With cancer, they're not going to be saved while in jail. It's not going to take jail to save them. They will be saved because the Holy Ghost is going to arrest them because of my prayer, because of the prayer of faith, because of my consecration, because of my belief. You shall for me and my household. We shall be saved. My household got to be saved. Come on, open your mouth, talk boldly. Say it. Come on, come on, come on. Get bold in the spirit. Heaven is listening. Angels are moving. The Lord is honoring it. Demons are backing away. As for me and my household, we will stay saved. And we will serve the Lord. We saved. We are saved. World, I don't know about y'all, but for us, we will be saved. Yes. Well, I, I, I don't care what, what's happening with other folk dipping and slipping. For us, we will be saved. We will stay saved. Huh? Our households will be saved. I don't care. I don't care what pestilence hit. Our household is going to go around us. I don't care what calamity. I don't care how much eggs cost. Hallelujah. God, even if you're going to give me a chicken that lays eggs in my backyard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 I don't care how much it costs. We need to get eggs free. Amen. Right when we got married, we were staying with our in-laws in the little room. And someone called them up and gave them, how many chickens was that? Silly one. Like eight or ten chickens. And they the chickens used to hatch every day. And they had any we could go inside and eat them. Wow. They didn't protect the chickens, so the rabbits, someone must be eating them. You know? So, so I don't care what, what the price of eggs I don't want to cost someone, I guess we have, someone was giving away the chicken you remember that? And I think from the farm they were just giving away the egg laying chickens and people who knew this way were gone how much ever you wanted, amen? I mean God could say that as for me and my household we will serve the Lord, amen number two, number two number two quickly but she shared all what the Lord said for 2023 Write the vision now, make it plain. Write the vision now, make it plain. I declare to you today, before this year is out, the Lord is going to download so much vision in your life. And let me just give you a hint. The vision God's giving you, you never can fulfill it on your own. Amen, Lord of God? The stuff the Lord is downloading in my spirit and your spirit, let me just help all of us, it's going to be impossible for you and I to fail. This is why the Lord always gives you vision so big that you need him and others. Yes. Come on, show hallelujah. hallelujah. If you have something that you think is from the Lord and you can do that in your own strength, chances are that's not from the Lord. It's everything the Lord gives you is big because he, he, he wants to use your whole life. He wants to pull stuff out of you you didn't even know. Look at your name and say, God's going to pull stuff out of me I didn't know was in me. God's going to pull yeah. stuff out of me that I didn't even know. Come on, come on. that's point number two. Yes. Write the vision now. Make it plain. Guess what? God's going to pull. Listen here. Stuff, listen here. Stuff we are doing, I never even dreamt I was going to be doing. If someone told me we were going to be doing, I wouldn't believe it. Why? Because when God begins to move in your life, He puts stuff in you. From before the foundation of the world, he's put it in you. He's stirring up the stuff that's in you because you don't even know why. There's so much layers of the enemy's doubt and disbelief and attacks. Hallelujah. But this year, 2023, the Lord said, write the stuff down. And he tells you to write the vision down because he wants at the end of the year for you to give him glory. And he showed you what he's going to do. And he did it in your life. Come on, give God praise. And sometimes we forget. Sometimes not until you go back in that old box and look and say, My God. That's true, God. I give you praise. You say, I was going to write a book. Some of you have best selling books to me. I'm not just making that up. Shut up, baby. I'm not just making that up. Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Come on, touch your hand. Touch your hand. Say, Lord, renew my mind. Lord, renew my mind. To see me. To see me. The way you see me. The way you see me. Show us. I got to get it in your spirit. Ooh, the way that God sees you. Some of you are best selling book writers. Some of you are best selling hallelujah speakers. 
Some of you are top notch uh, instructors. Some of you will develop curricula. Some of you will come up with industry. If God was finished with what he was doing in the earth, he wouldn't have you here today. I love the man, I love this country. But if Miles Monroe could have done everything God would have called you, what does that mean? As great as he is, we love and respect him. He's a great leader. God took him all the glory. He's all the glory. And the country still needs the word of God. Yes. The world still needs the word of God. Yes. So, God, have you still alive? Because there are some shoes you will have to fill and carry in the front of Moses, my servant, is now dead. You now arise. Point number three. You now arise. If there was everything to know about kingdom, then we wouldn't be teaching the kingdom. That means there's stuff in the kingdom of God that the Lord still wants to reveal and reveal it to you to bless his people in the world. And you here thinking, oh, Jake's has it all. Jake's don't have it all. You're thinking, oh, man, they already have Neil Ellis. They already have... Uh, uh, Raymond Wells, they already have uh, 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 one eagle item. They don't need nobody. No sin, God ain't finished with you. In fact, when God put in you, will blow their mind. Because you're up next. Shut that robo, Look at your name and say, you up next. You up next. You up next. You think, you just, you think this, you're just going to have one little message now? Get ready for hundreds of messages. Say, I'm not trying to get it. Get it. Get it. Say, Lord, get it. I get it. I got it. I got it. Come on, say I got it, Lord. I got it, Lord. One message will turn into a hundred. You got a hundred messages to give in 2023. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to get that. Matter of fact, as good as today was. That's just the beginning. Yes. Yes. And every day, and as good as Andy and as good as he taught, listen here. And you know what the Lord showed me how the devil is so cunning? He's a professor. I taught in school science to be unwrapping them right now. In Nassau, science for him at the medical school. And they had religion, and they didn't have to change it for religion class. When you like teaching in class, they might be up three, four classes a day. Yes. Huh?
we were lies. And the Lord showed me this and I heard him say, something so he was teaching. So when he came in the church, it's the same thing. You see? Go right in, same thing. Mind me what? Come on, I will have somebody wise. I want you to prepare. 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 Why? The demands of the kingdom are so great now on me. The world is so hungry. Don't be surprised if the Lord took me. Stop teaching my word every day. Get in your spirit. Get it? So now when the Lord speaking to you for it, the Lord has already told you how to do it. Don't be surprised when as you teach it, the Lord said, I want you to write a book on it. A book don't want to be a hundred pages. You can write a thirty page book. You've done theses and papers. Each one, you can do that a month. Don't, don't be surprised when the Lord said, lay hands on 10, 15 people every day for their healing. Don't, don't be surprised when the Lord said, uh, jump on the plane every weekend. It's like I have a meeting line for you to share minister and preach and teach and minister to my people around the world. Amen? Point number four. You are called for such a time as this. No limitations. No limitations. Stretch out to what is all about right now. And by faith, we declare a brand new car for this woman of God. I speak it with the people of God by faith that our Wazoo gets a brand new vehicle, and we believe in God. I can put, I can put it by faith, and I can put it in the atmosphere, I can put it on live to so the precious of the Lord. The first quarter of 2023, yeah. the Lord provides you with a car yeah. to do the work of the kingdom. In Jesus' name. Anybody else need a car? Grab that the atmosphere. Just grab that. Grab, grab it. See, see, the just live by what? Faith. Faith. So in the world, that's why I'm in the world talk, but get it, get it, and laugh at it, joke it. You don't you don't answer them. They don't understand this. Let me say grab it, declare it, decree it, speak it, prophesy it, um, speak on it, stand on it, sow on it, give on it, walk on it. That's just the just living by faith. Yes. If you ain't just, you ain't got to decide what we do. Yes. This is saying foreign and stupid to them. Amen? Amen? The next point is, which one? The fifth point. Mm -hmm. You are carrying your family's salvation. Now listen now. This year, don't make any decisions on your own accord. Think family salvation. Some things you're gonna to want to do, the Holy Ghost say that's gonna affect your family salvation. Amen. That's gonna affect your brothers and sisters' salvation. That's gonna affect your children's salvation. That's gonna affect your marriage salvation. That's gonna affect your extended family. Amen. Why? Amen. The Lord is gonna raise you to be the deliverer of your family in 2023. Put that down, Jesus. The Lord is gonna raise you. To be the deliverer. What does that mean? You will be the example they look up to in the things of God. No longer they can blame the church or pastor ministry. When you show up and the life you live in, they ain't have no more excuse of not seeing Jesus in a personal life. For real. 
One, two, your prayers are key to their deliverance. Thirdly, your words are key to their deliverance. Fourthly, your righteous living is an example for their deliverance. Watch what you say around them this year. Remember they are disciples. Don't cuss at them. Don't growl. Don't gossip with them. Don't let them see you. No, no, no. You stand by faith because everything you do, they're watching your life. Come on, say amen. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. Two more points, so look at me. The next one is guard your heart with all diligence in 2023. Watch your emotions and watch who you share it with. Yeah. Sometimes you would have to go in your prayer closet and cry before the Lord yourself. Don't let your children see it. Don't let your spouse see it. Don't let your enemies see it. Don't let your neighbors see it. Don't let the community see it. Some of these people go on Facebook and tell all their business and all their, that ain't the place to do it. That's not wisdom. Guide your heart. Guide your heart with all diligence. I'm going to say it again. Say, guide your heart. Say, guide your heart. Guide Ears with all diligence. Now you're going to practice this from today. Guide your ears. Do not listen to too many folk in this hour. You're matured enough to go in the Word and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you. Get in the Scripture, get in His Word, and spend time with Him. There's a great deception like never before coming into 2023. Because the devil knows he just has but a short time. God, anything you turn on TV or on radio and it don't lie up to the word, cut it instantly. Amen. Yes. Come on, come on, give the Lord a high clap of prayer. The same time to get stuck in your spirit. You see how long it takes? It takes you a month of the word to get error out of your spirit. Yes. It takes months to get a lie out when you see the world. Oh my goodness, that was me. Guide your ears. Guide your hearing. Hallelujah. Listen to yourself too. If you want to say something, oh Lord, I repent. No, just guide your ears. Guide your ears. Don't let Satan come and think. You know, anytime you hear anything that doesn't lie, we say, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Oh, you're going to die. That's a heart attack. And most of the things he tells you you're going to have, you never get. No, this is a lie. The house going to burn down. This plane going to crash with you in it. You're going to run off the road. You, This thing, this stomach thing, this is an ulcer. Oh, that's cancer in your body. And every time you go to the doctor, year and year, you find out it's a lie. I mean, you don't realize the devil is a liar. Yeah, it's the biggest one. Everything he says is the opposite. If he says cancer means you free of cancer. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, if he say uh, you will die of a stroke, it means you are the healthiest brain. Yes, yes. If he said no one listening to you, it means people listening to you. Yes. Your family ain't changing, it means they're really changing. Yes, yes. If you ain't called God, it means you really are called. Yes. You know, one check me, it means you're really anointed. It's a lie. He's a liar. Everything he said is the opposite. Yes. Of what the truth is, because the truth is not in him. He can't speak the truth. He can't say the truth if you ever want him to. Stand to your feet. And the last point is declare, I am going to walk with the Lord like never before in 2023. The Lord showed me this year, and it ain't going to just happen. It's going to happen because you're going to speak it, you're going to guide your heart, you're going to guide your ears. You're going to stand in the gap for your family and the loved ones. 
And I need you on the only other level before that you realize you got a whole city looking at you. You got your children, you got your neighbors, you got your community, you got your school, you got your workplace. Everyone looking at your life, mother, and you can see exactly how you live it. And that's a great responsibility. And the last part that we talked last week, guess what you're going to do? Read the word of God yes. from the beginning to the end like yeah. never before. Yeah. 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 You're going to yeah. put the word of God and say, come on, give God praise. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to buy it. You're going to download the Bible on CD or DVD. Or you're just going to play YouTube. I don't care how much minute it is. Get a package and just listen to it. It's worth it. Amen? Amen. And you're going to listen to the words of Jesus. Yes. You're going to listen to the scripture. And while people are worried about the price of eggs and the price of meat and the price of gas, and you while they're arguing on the talk show talking about all the problems, you're gonna be building your faith. 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 You're gonna be growing in your faith. While people are getting depressed, you're gonna be encouraged. Your spirit's gonna be uplifted. And when they see you in the car, they ain't know why you're smiling, but the word is just ministry to you. When you get home before you go to bed. Hallelujah, you're meditating on the word. When you get up in the morning, first thing, and guess what's going to happen? That word in you is going to just. Look who I'm on my own, the right word. I mean, it's mine. It's mine. That's it, I mean. Guess what happens? Guess what happens? Everyone in the scripture who begins to spend that much time with God begins to have supernatural encounters. Yes. See, because the, the more you meditate on the word, the more you want to see in the realm of the spirit. Those guys who do healing miracles, it's because they spend hours in the word and in prayer. When they come out, so I'm declaring that because you walk with God, now watch this now. Two things are going to happen. In 2023, one, everyone that walked with God had a supernatural, Moses walked with God and had a supernatural encounter. Jesus was one with the Father and is the Father had supernatural encounters. Yes. Peter, you read it today, mother. They were going up to the to the temple. You see that? They weren't going in the streets of the hood. There's a place for that. We can hit the street and go to the every one place. But but they, they were going to the temple as it was a custom for them to do every day. To do what? Prayer and give themselves to the time in the word. And when they saw this man, because their faith was so tired for the word, he said, Get up, man. Be thou made whole. I see. See, see, because why? They were walking in the word. And so the word became more real than the reality of the world. So heal. Jesus. I I Twenty twenty three, the sign of race. Yes. You will be the first yes. example yes. of the miracle. Yes. For you, sir. Yes. For you, sir. Twenty twenty three. Yeah, I came across my shoulder. Uh-huh. Lift it up. Yep. Twenty twenty three. You will have full use of that arm. Yes. Jesus. My faith yes. is sustained. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen, I'm done. 2023 is going to be a year for those who walk with God to experience supernatural encounters with the Lord. Yes. Now, that encounters now, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be demonic deliverance. It's going to be supernatural healing. You will see this before your very eyes. Angelic visitations. Supernatural occurrences. Divine visitations from the Lord Himself. 
Enoch walked with God and was taken away. Elijah walked so close with God, he had to sin, he was taken away in a chariot. Jesus was so powerful with the Lord, he took him away. Stephen was staying, so he walked with God so much. The heavens were open, he saw the Lord sitting on his throne and he was taken out into glory. John walked with God so much that he wrote the book of Revelation and the whole, and the whole history of mankind was opened up to him. Every person who walked with the Bible called John the Beloved, he was that close to Jesus. Everyone who walks close with God in his word expect visitations from the Lord. Jacob was walking so close with God, he wrestled with God. Moses was taken up into the mountain 40 days, he was so close to God. Hallelujah. God went to kill his family for their talking against him. He said, Moses is my servant, shut your mouth. Joshua is my servant, shut up. They had all encounters with the Lord. Peter, James, John, the apostles, Paul, encounters. You will experience encounters with the Lord in 2023 like never before in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Glory to God. What a full year we have. What a full year we have. What a full year. Father, we just give you thanks. Father, we just love you because you're amazing. Come on, bless him. Yes. You're amazing, Lord. Come on, bless him. Father, we look forward to a year yes. of supernatural visitation. Yes. Lord, we look forward to a year of encounters with you. We look forward to dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not no rat and no cat. I talk about dreams where the Lord show you where he's going to take you. Hallelujah. Visions. Open visions where he shows you the miracle that's going to happen before they even happen. Where he shows you the plot of the enemy and you are able to avoid it. Hallelujah. Where he takes you into places and it seemed like a dream but you, you can't remember what happened but hallelujah. The Lord showed you in a vision or a dream before it even happened. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the Lord and I'm speaking to your spirit and what you prophesy happens. Hallelujah. Instantly. I talk about answered prayer. Quick prayers being answered. I talk about, about difficult, difficult situations being uh, 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 resolved in your prayers. I'm talking about people coming out of wheelchairs. I'm talking about death, cancer, fourth stage, terminal diseases, healing. When you lay hands and you pray for people, and the word just spreads in the city that there is a sister, there's a brother that has the anointing for healing that brings healing even on the deathbed. I'm talking about people raising up from their deathbeds. Hallelujah. Because of the anointing on your life. Hallelujah. I talk about demons falling all around when you show up at a place to preach and to teach. I, I'm talking about hallelujah. Hallelujah. Plots being exposed. I'm talking about uh, victories of being won. I'm talking about favor with God and with man. I'm talking about walking in the bike and they pre-approve you. Hallelujah. I'm talking about hallelujah. People sending hallelujah things to bless your life. Hallelujah. Just because they know that you made it in the Lord uses it to bless your life. I talk about supernatural living, supernatural provision, supernatural access. Hallelujah. Being called to speak the wisdom of God in platforms uh, with heathens and sinners, but because the God that the Lord has anointed you, they're calling to you to bring the wisdom of God to them. Amen. Father, so we thank you for the day. We prophesy all these things upon your people and upon this house and upon those in this house, those listening and watching the saints of God. We declare life and health and strength. We declare safety in this 2022 as we bring this year to close. Satan, you will not steal and destroy our lives. You will not defeat us. I declare victory over this house, over your people. Victory, say victory. 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 In the name of Jesus. Victory. Through the blood of Jesus. Come on, apply the blood to something. I know we go. And we apply the blood. We apply the blood. We apply the blood.
Come on, let's leave out here on the blood. Let's leave out here on the blood. Let's leave in here on the blood. Lord, we apply the blood. We apply the blood. We apply the blood. The blood over our homes, over our cars. We apply the blood over our ministry. We apply the blood over our spouses, our children, our property, our possession. Everything can turn us. We apply the blood of Jesus over these dreams, over these visions, over these things that you've spoken. We seal it in the blood. And then when we put a blood, come on, put a blood protection around you. I mean to tell the devil, the blood is coming in your house. Uh, we curse you out of our house through the blood. We curse you of the car. We put a blood hedge around us. I mean, the kind of Satan, you cannot cross the blood. You cannot pass the blood. You cannot overcome the blood. We break you in the workplace. We break you in the city. We break you of this nation. We apply the blood, the powerful blood of Jesus, and we declare the powerful preaching of the cross. Go across the city and nation. We declare mass salvation. Come on, prophesy in the midst of uh, what's happening. Mass salvation. Mass deliverance. Mass salvation. Mass conversion. Uh, mass covering of the blood in this nation. This nation comes back to you. Mass conversion on the college campus, on the school campuses. We declare this nation will not be overtaken by other nations, but this nation will rise up in its kingdom assignment in the name of Jesus. We refuse to let the devil take this nation from us. The devil is alive. This property belong to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This land belongs to us. Hallelujah. The land belongs to the righteous saints of the Bahamas. And we will not give it up to drug pushers, crack dealers, and any nation that wants to overrun us. We put the blood against them in the name of Jesus. From the boundaries of the south of Inagua to the north of Abaco and Grand Bahama and all around the boundaries of the waters. Lord, we rebuke the devil from contaminating the seawater. Hallelujah. The marine life. We bind the enemy from contaminating the land with blood and with pollution and with sin. We bind the enemy from overcoming the government. Hallelujah. With unrighteous laws and decisions. We put a guard around this nation. We will fight for this nation in the spirit. We will fight for the blood of the nation of our youth. And Lord, we repent for the bloodshed. We repent for the murder. We repent for the uh, passivity of the church and the church leaders uh, who have sold out for political gain and for money and have turned their backs on you. But we will arise. We will arise. We shall arise. Hallelujah. Lord, if you chose anyone, choose us to do your work. We are ready. Lord, we are able. We go where you send us. Lord, here I am. Send me. Is that your prayer today? Yes. And Lord, we go out today and say, send us. Send us. Send us. Send us. Send us. Say, send me, Lord. Send me, Lord. Send me, Lord. Send this house. Send the people in here. Send us to restore this nation. To restore this land. To win this nation for you. Send us. I know it looks like faith, and it is by faith. Send us. I know the numbers don't look like it now, but send us. I know it looked like whatever in the natural, but send us. We are more than able yeah. to possess this land. We are more than able to conquer this land. We are more than able to possess it for you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name we stand in the gap for this nation. We stand in the gap for every family represented here. We stand in the gap. When you get home, you're going to hear miracles, testimonies of the change. There's going to be peace and comfort. There's going to be submission. There's going to be humility. There's going to be unity. There's going to be oneness. And that oneness is going to bring miracles in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oneness. Oneness. Oneness, 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 touching and agreeing to get the house, the home, the car, the business, the property, the possession. Oneness to eat, and the Lord will provide food, finances. Oneness will stretch the money, and it will accomplish what it all needs to be. Oneness, 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 togetherness, unity, faith. Hallelujah. I break this God by the enemy, arguing, fighting, rowing. Hallelujah. Pettiness, indifference. Hallelujah. Snaring, snaring. 
sighing, insulting, and we break it in these houses. Today, I see it by the Spirit. I say, Satan, you are rebuked from the pettiness. You devil that wants to bring discouragement and discord and sleepless nights and irritability. We break irritability. Arguing. Hallelujah. Snappiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, temperance, meekness, goodness, long-suffering, goodness, kindness, gentleness, meekness. Hallelujah. Temperance, self-control, joy of the Spirit. Joy of the Spirit. Say, I receive it. Joy of the Spirit. The love of God in my house. Say it. The love of God in my house. Everywhere I go, I will be greeted with the love of God. Family, you have to treat me with the love of God. Even if you don't love me, if you hate my guts when I show up, you are forced to because I'm not going to be attacked by your wickedness. You want to show me the love of God. Say, love of God be upon me right now. That's it right now. Some of you, you get attacked and the love of God is going to bring that to me. I am tired of you getting attacked. I'm tired of people being jealous of you, hateful of you, trying to block you, trying to hinder you, hate your success, hate your everything you do. you got to battle it in, in warfare because the folk just jealous because you're just breaking through. They ain't, you, you ain't got what God owe you yet. You ain't got what God promised you yet. They already hate you. But we're going to break that now because next year, hallelujah, they will drop when they see what God is going to do in your life. So you better put the love of God in. Lord, we put the love now. Hallelujah. Because 2023 will kill some of them when they see what God is going to do in your life. So you better, you better love us now. Love us now. Receive us now. Because your blessing is in our hands. Come on, say it. Hallelujah. Their blessing is in our hands. And they better love us now. Hallelujah. Because if God gets angry with the way they are treating you, he's going to turn and deal with them. Because the Lord is only gonna, the Lord is only holding back because of you, asking for mercy. But it's gonna come a point in time if they keep asking the way they are. My mercy door is closed. My spirit will not always strive to judgment. I'm gonna close the door on them. And the Lord's gonna tell you close the door, step back, and if you come in the way, you will get what they get. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. The devil is alive. How long they gonna insult you? Talk bad that you put me down. You show in love and kindness, the Lord say back, back. I cannot. I'm a just God. Enough is enough. Jesus name. I'm just. You show them love and they show you evil. That's an imbalance, and I gotta bring justice to this man. Oh God. Four o'clock strike twenty three. Oh God. Before the clock strike twenty three. Tell some people they better make it right. You better call some enemies and tell them, please, for your sake, for your sake, do me right. For 40 years, for your sake, shut your mouth against me. I'm just warning you, for your sake. Aim for me, I don't forgive you and love you. For your sake, shut your mouth against me. Then in the workplace, I said, please, uh, for your sake, uh, please, don't stop my promotion this year. For your sake, give me sign that letter of recommendation for me. You know I work for your sake. Handle me right this year. Just for your sake. Just for your sake. For your sake. Because when I clock in 23, it's going to be a totally different year. Shoot, I wish I had time. Father, bless your people. <laughs> Because no one can tell you this out there. This is stuff you hear in the house of God. 2023 is going to be a serious year for the people of God. Lord bless your people coming in the house. Honor them, lift them up. Bless them, exalt your people as they've exalted you now. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the insight. Thank you for the prophetic. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. And thank you most of all for your Holy Spirit and the wonderful people that you brought us together with for such a time as this. 
We bless you now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. I know we went over time, but when the Lord is speaking, how can you say? Life and death. Hallelujah. It's in the time. Go ahead and prophesy to three or four people before you leave. Speak what the Lord is saying. You are prophets. You are prophetic. Speak a word. Speak it over their life. Speak something. Encourage them to bless them. I speak blessing to you who are listening and watching. God bless you and keep you and cover you 2023 as you get ready for it. It's going to be a prophetic move of the Spirit of the Lord. A prophetic breakthrough. Those who are listening and watching, get ready to walk with the Lord like never before. Every destruction of the enemy, every part of the enemy, is I speak this week. I have a living God for this week with you and I. And I declare this week those rats, those snakes, those enemies of hell, I send them back to hell never to return. I speak those warlocks, those witches, and those enchantments die by the fire of the name of Jesus. And I declare victory. I declare victory. You will not stop us this week. We will possess what we need to do. We have two more weeks to get everything the Lord said in 2022. I'm not going into 2023 not collecting everything this year. We're going to fight the rest of 2022 for what belongs to us. Amen? There is a thing the Lord has promised. We got two weeks to see it. Yeah. There's some prophetic words he released. Yeah. You fight for the next two weeks. Don't get too caught up on ham and turkey and jingle bells and lights. Amen. You got two weeks. Enjoy yourself, but possess your possession. Amen. 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 Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus, Malik, get the tithe and offering by collecting. Amen. God bless you. Every seed you sow, hallelujah, is blessing the nation. I want to let you know, every man Shalewa sends to the pastors and the leaders around the world, every gift you give is being multiplied significantly in the kingdom of God. Amen. Every prayer you pray, every gift you give, everything you do in love unto the Lord is multiplied in Jesus' name. God bless you. We love you. I know, Mother, you brought some items this year. If you have items you want to give, bring it to the church. We're going to sow it to some families, candles, clothes, items, whatever you have. Amen. And if you don't have, bring it to the church. Find a home and just bless the people. Amen. Amen. You just you are agents of the Lord. Just do what the Lord tells you to do. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Hallelujah. I speak love and blessings over you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you. Love your family. So those who listen, watch and love you. Tune in next week. We'll see what the Lord does next week. And then the following Sunday as we close out this year. Amen. Get ready to hear what the Lord is saying for 2023 over your life. When he's speaking to the church, to the nation, and to the world. You don't want to miss these next few weeks of prophetic insight. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Father, we bless that seed.